Hello everyone, this is A Stocky here. Welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of the A Stocky Pack. Uh, in the last episode, I attempted to set up a bit of a rail network system here, and I basically did not succeed in achieving what I was hoping to achieve. So, what I'm going to do this episode is rectify that. So, I need to get my lever back. Basically, what I had done wrong is I had. Uh, basically just not set things up the way I wanted them to be set up so what I'm going to do now is I totally meant to start this off with some smooth stone because I happen to like the look of smooth stone bricks for certain things so uh, I'm just going to cook up a few of these once I've got four of them I think that's going to be enough as a start um, what don't I need? I probably have more cobbled right here right now than I really need I already have 54 smooth stones, so it turns out I was not looking and not paying attention. So I do still need one spot free. Um, do you? No, you don't put things in the crafting table. Ah, darn it, I just deleted a stack of cobble. I never mind, I didn't really need it anyway. The advantage of having an infinite cobble generator is you don't really have to worry about those kind of things. Something I'm very spoilt by is in my Herocraft Let's Play, the way I can jump around with those flashy boots and things. Okay, so this particular rail here is a passenger drop-off rail. So I'm going to put that passenger drop-off rail just there. Now what this is going to do is this is going to totally change the layout of my little setup here. Whoops, too high, too high, too high. I need that button. Don't really need that pressure plate though, so here we go. What I'm going to do now is just here. Yes, I'm going to put a, I guess what I'm going to call it is a standing area. So it's going to be those four blocks that is going to be where you stand. Make the platform a little bit wider. Ow. Oh, cactus. Okay. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to stand just here. And... This is not going to work exactly how I was hoping it would work. But basically what we're going to have here is we're going to have a passenger pickup rail on this time. So we're going to put a block here. I really like the look of these bricks. I'm going to put a block here. I'm going to place my button on the side of it. So the way this is going to work now is you're going to take your minecart. You're going to place your minecart. Stand just here. Press the button. It's going to come along and as soon as it hits the passenger pickup spot it's going to pick you up and it's going to scoot you along. Scooting, scooting, scooting. It would be nice if it scooted faster, but I can, I can live with the fact that it doesn't. Shooting me along and then once again I'm going to come down here and then get stuck. But that's okay. And the reason for that is just here I'm going to change things up most significantly. Just out, jump down, pick all that stuff up. This one up here is going to get the most significant change. I'm going to substantially shorten the platform. Like substantially shorten it. And I'm going to break all this stuff off as well. I really don't like that ankle sound, but it's fine. The fact that I'm on hard, I think, is what's really hurting me whenever I jump. So back up we go. So we're going to have a detector rail just here. 
we're going to place another detector rail just here this time at the top right here we are going to place our passenger drop off rail and then once again just as we come down we're going to place a passenger pickup rail a little bit of normal rail needed now and then I'm going to move this along just one block I really hope I don't run out of jetpack power so now we need a passenger pickup rail and then I'm going to put my powered rail just here it's going to slightly throw off my calculations at the other side but that is perfectly acceptable so we're going to go powered rail uh, lever and then torch so basically what will happen now is let's say we're coming back from the Toffman's outpost we're in we hit that it's gonna boost us up over the top and as it gets to that point it's gonna drop us off and drop us here and we're gonna sit on the platform and then when we're ready to go uh, we're going to walk up and there are going to be two pressure plates for this one we do a pressure plate just here and a pressure plate just here so we're going to walk up step on the pressure plate it's going to put us in the cart and it's going to take us back so no need for these buttons pressure plates and now we should see what happens as we shoot along here and it should spit us off whoa now that's a I guess a little part of the problem with the way the system works is it will find basically any block that it believes is an acceptable block for you to stand on and it will just put you there so we just want to try and build these up to make these not look like acceptable blocks so now those look less like acceptable blocks and we'll put those torches back up just to make things nice and bright so yeah we stand here stand on the little square hit the button okay that minecart should have stopped when it hit that spot but it didn't so because it's flush up against a wall I can just use a powered rail there and then what should happen is put it on the powered rail stand here hit the button it's going to shoot down, pick me up, and off we go. Now this will be a chance to test to make sure that our little setup over there works. Once again I'm going to have to widen the platform out and make things look a little bit, I guess a little bit less crazy. Whoa, sorry I hit the mouse, they didn't mean to do that. So we're shooting along. Hit the passenger drop off okay that was not meant to happen I think what I've done now is I think I've shortened it a little bit too much because it didn't lose enough speed going up the hill and it put me straight back on um, oh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen that's okay break that pick it back up get myself back out of the out of harm's way yeah I mean the the idea was sound I think it just gave me a little bit too much boost that may have been why I went with the three blocks in the first place um, so what I think I'll probably do is I'll probably move this all back did not mean to do that what am I carrying must be string so we wanted 
passenger pickup rail just there uh, we have our passenger drop-off rail although that's not where it's going to end up being we want block block then we want detector rail so detector rail gold rail normal rail normal rail drop-off rail where did my last drop-off rail go? Oop. nearly got myself shot oh, oh, that was totally not cool um, now I've got to go back and get all that stuff ah, uh, panicking items why is there no sword in my items chest? oh, I've got no jetpack either, I can't jump okay need to sleep through the night, need to make it safe and then need to head back and get all my stuff there was a lot of really good stuff in that collection, I don't want to lose it run! run little legs if only I had a minecart this would be the perfect time to make use of my little minecart track when you know you're in a hurry and you need to get somewhere oh. I also can't use this either because I haven't got my jetpack on at least we got the safe way ain't no creepers gonna blow me up over here I'm not actually sure if it's any quicker to, to minecart than it is to sprint yeah whatever run 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 try not to die Whoop. look at that, like a big power slide through the corner hoping all my stuff is still there not seeing a whole lot of stuff why is there not stuff there? there we are it was all there, it was just a matter of finding it have to be honest with you I was a fraction worried there that some of my stuff might not be where I left it. Like, super worried actually. Okay, chainsaw, drill, jetpack, backpack is good, uh, everything else seems fine. Be nice to know if I was actually missing something. Got apples. Yeah, not really seeing anything that could be missing. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, it's back to... So that's still going to work on that one. Pressure plate. Looks like it's still going to work there. Platform is... Oh, it'll be suitably wide. Might make it just a tad wider. On this part and here just in case, you never really know what's going to happen I don't like that little notch there so I'm going to fill that in and then come down here and kind of build this up it's going to look just a tad ugly but it is going to be workable so we're gonna come up put our card on step beautiful hopefully I'll be up to pretty much top speed there Whoop. saved by the jetpack wanna get myself set up again so get myself up to full speed and then we'll see how this works on the stop come on let's go let's do this thing ah oh, didn't quite make it, why is it powered? ah oh, because it's on the detector rail
Hmm. It's just got a fraction too much boost. This is all experimentation now. Because I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go. But we can check this way. Because it's really much of a muchness which way we go. Should achieve the same effect of hitting top speed after the second rail. And then just cruising along. Okay. So it gives her a bit of a kick. Kick up to full speed. Hit the power rail detector rail. Perfect. So you can see there it stopped nicely on the hill. We'll go along. Beautiful. I'm just going to ride it one more time in the other direction just to make sure everything's working okay. And then I will get on to the next thing that I want to do which is complete the rail system all the way out to Toffman's hut. I keep calling it his hut. I think it's his outpost. I think we decided it was an outpost. Boom. Scooching along nicely. Hit the drop-off rail. There we go. We're stopped. Come over here. Stand in the little area and go, I'm ready to launch now. Beautiful. Not sure exactly how this is going to work in multiplayer. And Speaking of multiplayer, there is presently a, an incompatibility between the server that I'm running, that's now running the new version of Forge, and not enough items. I'm not sure exactly what's causing it, but at present, we're not actually able to run a multiplayer server. Look at that. Nice. And then walk back up, and then we keep going. So at present, we're not able to run a multiplayer server and I don't know that there's anything I can do about that. I'm going to talk, well by talk I'm going to message the maker of NEI, Chicken Bones, and see if there's something that either he potentially knows about or there's something that might be able to be done about it. Uh, if there's not, I think I'm just going to have to wait out and I guess see what we can do in terms of fixing it so that it, it's once again able to be played as a multiplayer pack multiplayer slash co-op in this pack is really important to me and that's the whole reason I developed it so I really want it to work and I really want to do whatever I can to try and help facilitate that so I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna see what I can do but I guess please just don't ask for a little while about co-op because right now uh, co-op isn't and also I'm probably gonna take down the server download because I just don't want people downloading it and having it not work for them because that's I mean that reeks of bad quality control and that's it's quite bad. It's, it's actually really frustrating too because the client runs perfectly, the server runs perfectly and it's once you try to connect the client to the server you get NEI crashing and it's a pain. So I'm going to just pause the video now and I'm going to come back once I have built this concrete path or cobble path the rest of the way, so back soon. Okay everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm in the base. I've set up the station here. I haven't yet finished building all the way out to the station, but everything is mostly ready. Something else I found out, so that's the normal kind of jump that you would do. If you press spacebar, so you start to jump and then press the M key, you enable hover mode. And what hover mode does is it lets you do normal jumps by pressing spacebar but it also lets you hold down spacebar and kind of slowly climb and then when you let it go you slowly descend so now I can fall off things and not get hurt and it doesn't use too much of my power either and if I want to jump I can sort of hold spacebar down and slowly climb up so I guess here is my little base what I'm going to do now is just run along chainsaw all these zombies off I actually ran out of torches part way through as well which is why I neglected to light it up and block it as I was going through so I borrowed some of the uh, coal and some of the wood from that base there to make a lot of charcoal and I now have way more torches than I meant to make but more is always a good thing and it's also led me to realize that I'm one passenger pickup rail 
short of being able to achieve what I want to achieve. So um, I guess I'm going to have to make another another set of three of them very soon and just deal with the fact that I had to do that. So cruising along. Okay, so that was that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and torch. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, torch. What a, what a way to go. I'm going to run out of levers as well. But you get the idea. I will meet you when I run out of something. Back soon. Okay, uh, it's, a, it's official. I made it. You can see quite a fair distance from there. But still quite a fair distance from there. So I'm thinking I'm going to need another... Quite a few stacks. What I'm going to do is just go... One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and at least continue to light this up as I go through, and we'll see. We'll see how we go. One, two, three, four, five. It's really quite difficult to count when you're not when you're not putting rails down without counting out loud. Perfect. I really hope that was 12. I'm, I'm embarrassing myself now not being able to count. But, torch. Torch. Missed. So this will be the second one, which means the next one needs to be powered. Whoops. Okay. So we will power that one. Not doing too badly now. So that is one, two, so this is the next one, which means it will need to be powered. Gotta stop forgetting to put torches on. And then that's definitely gonna be the last one that needs to be powered before I make it all the way back. This is actually the biggest legit rail line I have made, so I'm really quite happy with this. Look at that, that would be the twelfth one just there, so we're looking at this being basically perfect in terms of track length. So we want a passenger rail, a passenger pickup rail just there, and then we'll throw the rest of these down, although there's not very many of them run through bang that will sort itself out later in terms of direction and this will let me know just a rough idea of how much I need so we need really we'll call that two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11. So we need 11 lots of 12 of unpowered rail. So give or take two stacks. And then we need one more piece of powered rail. So I guess all things considered, I didn't really judge it too badly. It's not looking... I guess it's not the, the grandest endeavour ever. But it's been a long time since I actually built a railway in Minecraft. I mean, with uh, the teleport gates that were in the Thorncraft that was in Technic Pack 6, and with the you know, super crazy flying kind of rings and boots and things you can get with equivalent exchange that I've used in other Let's Plays and with uh, the Thorncraft 2 portals or seals that you can now make, you know, there's not really much of a need to build minecarts anymore for travelling. And I mean, when you can really sprint and it's... I mean, it made a big difference in 1.7 when a, a flat-out rail system would actually make you travel much faster than you could travel. Why have I been actually doing this? Uh, no idea. So yeah, when, when you can travel substantially faster on the rail than you can walking, it made a big difference. But now that you can sprint, and when you've got huge stacks of food, you can pretty much sprint forever, there was not really the same need to have a big minecart track. But nevertheless, I think this is super cool. And I hope you've enjoyed watching me almost build it. I mean, I'm, I'm so close to having it done. Well, this will work. Yep, perfect. Oh, get off. I just wasn't sure if because it wasn't pressed directly up against the stone block whether it would actually work, but it has and it's good. I think I'm on hover mode still, aren't I? Yep. Gonna shoot up the top here because I know it needs charging. So we'll oh almost fully charged. Once this thing here hits fully charged, that will give me exactly what it is that I need to be able to create um, the electrolyzed water cells, which I can then use to make the the new flashy compressor. No, not compressor. Extractor the advanced extractor. Centrifuge extractor, that one. You need electrolyzed water cells. So to make that, I need a fully charged MFE and an electrolyzer. Let's try this. Elec. That one. So that's actually fairly easy to make. You just need incredible amounts of power before you can get started with it. So I'm going to, once again, put myself in hover mode and just casually go down here. I think it might actually be quicker to go down with a ladder. Whoop, chunk hole. Wonder what's in that chunk hole. Oh, look at all my torches. I've obviously been there, so I'm not missing anything exciting. That's back to being full again. That's really loud now whenever that pump pumps water. And it actually looks like some of the water's not coming back correctly. Have to fix that. Yeah, hopefully that's working now. I'm used to the, the giant super jumps and I'm not doing super jumps anymore so it feels really weird. But, um, back to my base. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. A stocky out.